The Principle of Superposition of Waves According to the principle, overlapping waves add algebraically to produce a resultant wave or net wave. In other words, when any number of waves met simultaneously at a point in a medium, the net displacement at a given time is the algebraic sum of the displacements due to each wave at that time. For example, let us consider two waves traveling together along the same stretched string in opposite directions. They met and passed through each other and move on independently as shown in figure. Each picture depicts the resultant wave form in the stream at a given instant of time. The principle of superposition of waves imply that the overlapping waves do not in any way alter the travel of each other. In mathematical form, suppose y1 of xt and y2 of xt are the displacements that any element of the string would undergo if each wave traveled along. When the two waves overlap, the displacement y of xt of one element of the string would be given by y xt equals to y1 of xt plus y2 of xt. In general, it is the wave functions of the moving waves. 1. y1 equals to f1 into x minus vt y2 equals to f2 into x minus vt and so on yn equals to fn into x minus vt then the wave function describing the resultant disturbance in the medium is y equals to y1 plus y2 plus so on plus yn equals to f1 into x minus vt plus f2 into x minus vt plus so on plus fn into x minus vt equals to sigma i equals to 1 to n of fi into x minus vt. To illustrate the principle, let us consider two ways of same angular frequency. w equals to of 2 pi by t. Same angular wave number. k equals to 2 pi by lambda. Same amplitude. A traveling with the same speed along the positive direction of X axis. If the two waves, one out of phase by a constant angle Q, their equations can be written as y1 of xt equals to r sine of omega t minus kx, y2 of xt equals to r sine of omega t minus kx plus 5.